Hi everyone, welcome to Our Life V3. Well, as we've mentioned, a boat requires much upkeep, inside and out, and Makani is no different. We've had to up our game quite a bit by picking up new skills that allow us to do some maintenance items as required. Inspecting, cleaning, and fixing items under the water lines such as rudders, propellers, sail drives, through hulls, keel, and the list goes on and on, has led us to take up scuba. We've always enjoyed snorkeling, but have recently taken up scuba diving. There are perks that come with this new skill, mainly in the form of having Having to do it on a regular basis to keep our skills going and equipment in good working order. We earned our certification from Maxim Scuba in Lake Longhorn, a freshwater lake near where Makani is moored. Not wanting to forget anything that we just learned, we immediately booked a cruise last minute to go to Cozumel, Mexico and see how we fared in the big blue ocean. The following video covers three dives, all cruise excursions, two different cruises on our way to Cozumel. The first one being a shore dive and the other two diving from a boat. In November of 20 we took a Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Sea out of Galveston. The cruises from late fall to sea, spring seem to be extremely reasonably priced from port and only about 40 minutes from our marina. You may be wondering why we just didn't take Makani, and that's a fair question. We sometimes have limited time and just need to get somewhere quickly while enjoying ourselves as much as possible. Cruises are the perfect way for us to get out on the water and feel a little pampered along the way as well. Having struggled a bit during certification, we opted for the one tank dive on the short entry in the max depth of 40 feet. It was a good choice for us as it gave Mary the boost of confidence that she needed to continue. The dive center was Sand Dollar Sports and the site was very close to the cruise terminal. It was less than a 10 minute boat ride over to the site and easily seen from the ship. We didn't have any equipment yet so we used theirs. They offered aqua lung equipment and it was good. It was a bit rating but of course we didn't care. You're gonna get wet anyway and the current was very light. excellent dive master in Pedro who helped us adjust our weights and get used to the new saltwater environment. It wasn't a spectacular dive as many of the reefs were small and being rebuilt. spots in Cozumel needed to rest from tourism. The government periodically closed them down while allowing them time to be rebuilt. figured out how to control our bodies for a smoother dive, so at times it looks like we were flailing about.
way better than Lake. Great visibility, a lot of fun. We were out 50 minutes at about 40 foot of depth was our max 40, 45, he said. Uh, stingrays, uh, puffer fish, shrimp, sea serpents, snakes, maybe eel. I was looking at this thinking that wouldn't be that exciting, but man, they really did good with it, didn't they? Do that again. Oh, totally. That dive was just what we needed. We were confident at that point and decided to invest in some gear. BCDs, masks, fins, snorkels, and even dive computers got purchased. We loved the aqua lungs so much that we decided to stick with the brand. Six months later, and being much more confident, we jumped on another cruise to Mexico, this time Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Sea. We signed up for a two-tank drift dive from a boat in Cozumel. The Save Dive Center, Sand Dollar Sports, hey ran the dive. The first dive at Cosmo Mills National Marine Park was scheduled to last 50 minutes with a dive of 80 feet. The excursion was a full with eight of us at differing levels of experience and the majority on the novice side. We totally enjoyed the pillars of corals during this dive as they were large and we could swim between them. The current was moderate, so I had to watch that we didn't accidentally touch or kick the coral as we traveled through. It was an amazing dive and we enjoyed it so much, but noticed that the sea life was not as abundant as we had hoped. To do to the depth, we would have to perform a three minute safety stop at around 20 feet before surfacing. Unfortunately, a diver in the group wasn't watching his levels and ran out of air at about 28 minutes into the dive. This forced all of us to surface, so our only dive time was about 32 minutes and a depth of 77 feet. A little disappointing, but we were thankful for what we did get to see during our first dive. The second dive was nearby at Paradise Reef. It was more shallow, with a max depth expected of 40 feet. the world underwater.
On this dive, we saw many more sea creatures. Bottom time was 43 minutes with a max depth of 39 feet. We really started enjoying diving and hope to do some more soon. Just having the skills to perform scuba safely increases confidence in taking care of Makani as we need to. While in the Galveston Bay area, we'll hire a professional to clean your bottom and change the zincs in the water as it's really murky and filled with bacteria. But once we hit the clear water, we'll take that job on along with our many others. Thanks for watching. Remember to find your dream and own it. Safe travels, everyone.